What's going on guys, Nick Hellman aka The Crypto Hitman here, just want to touch base on a project we got into below 5.5 cents, it's currently 14.5 cents, but for those of you who missed it, or those of you who are already in it, there is an update around their staking, we are talking about the Yak Dow and their Yaks token. If we scroll down here on their Twitter, who's this sexy fellow? Oh, that's me in my car. Uh, we scroll down here on their Twitter. You can see here that April 15th at 1600 UTC, they will unlock some staking pools between 30% APY all the way up to 80% APY. Now, the only kicker here is in order to be eligible to participate in these staking pools is you've had to buy at least 2,500, 5,000, or 10,000 yaks by the snapshot on April 15th. So if you already have bought, make sure you've met these requirements to fit into whatever staking pool you want to get in. Or if you are incentivized by the RWA sector, the low market cap of Yaks, and you want to get the higher APRs, then you need to go right now to Dex Tools, buy at least, like I said, 2,500, 5,000, or 10,000 Yaks, and get ready to stake in these pools. Now, some people have the concern of, well, what if I buy and then I don't get in before this pool fills up? Because I think there is going to be high demand for these pools. Yaktow has listened many times, and I think they will listen again. If they're supremely oversubscribed and there are still users who bought these individual allocations of yaks and want to get into their staking pools, they will open up additional pools under the same APRs and the same buy requirements. The reason I'm trying to get this video out is if a lot of people are, are in demand and want to get in these pools, people are making these buys, what happens to the price of yaks? Well, it probably gets more expensive for you. So being early, if this is something that interests you, also means that the 2,500, the 5,000, or 10,000 yaks cost less stable coins, which is even better for your entry before a potential price appreciation. Of course, this is not financial advice. And again, for those of you who are in the pre-sale of yaks, you can stake those pre-sale tokens but in order to be able to stake those tokens, you need to buy these minimum allotments to add to your bags. So if you buy 10,000 more yaks, you can stake those 10,000 yaks plus any additional yaks you have in your wallet in this Mauna Kea pool, for example. So it's not just the tokens that you buy or you add that can be staked. It's your entire bag. So the pre-sellers are not left out either. So guys, check it out. Let me know what you think. Will you be staking your yaks tokens? Are you uh, looking at YakDAO as the most undervalued RWA play in the crypto ecosystem right now? 22 acre plot of land, five units already available for rent, a common area, a stocked fishing lake, a parking lot, and they're already using the pre-sale funds to order more units to get on the property. 30% of all the revenue from the beds and the heads uh, that is generated by the property goes towards yaks buybacks that is used for this deflationary staking rewards as well as burns of the total and circulating supply you heard that right a lot of people when they see staking get a little nervous because that means more tokens into circulation no these staking rewards are being funded by the sell tax on the token so this is completely deflationary rewarding the strong hands punishing the weak hands and again, a percentage of tokens will go towards burns, marketing, centralized exchanges, increasing liquidity pools as time goes on. This just launched about three to four days ago, so still relatively new. But wanted you guys to be aware and be the first to know about the staking that is launching here in five days. Peace!